It has been more than a year since the Wright Brothers factory was destroyed in a fire. So where exactly do things stand now? Kasha Hancock spoke with the city of Dayton to find out what they plan to do with the property. So Kasha, what did they tell you? The city of Dayton still owns the property and says there's so many new upgrades and new components that they want to put into the factory. With the rich history starting in 1910, the Wright Brothers factory is a staple in the Dayton community. Preserving that history was threatened back in March of 2023 when the historic structure caught fire. A year later, the city of Dayton is trying to rebuild. They did extensive work and engagement of the community, of our partners, including the National Park Service, as well as the city of Dayton, to come up with what they believe would be a great redevelopment plan for the site. The plan includes a variety of things the city says the community will benefit from. So it included community space, open space, uh, made allowances for the National Park and, and possibly a museum as it relates to aviation, in addition to some entrepreneurship space and possibly a food hall on site. That plan includes the National Park Service to acquire hangars one and two to turn the historic buildings into an aviation museum, but damage assessments still need to be completed before moving forward with the project. Um, once we understand structurally the damage that was done to the original hangars. Right now we have it fenced off, but we would then engage some type of um, structural engineer and others to help us come up with a plan to either one, to, to stabilize the building. Political leaders like Congressman Mike Turner, Mayor Jeffrey Mims, and Senator Sherrod Brown support the plan of rebuilding the factory. We have also received um, an allocation from Senator Brown's office, Sherrod Brown. So, of course, our, our elected officials on every level is truly gems and valuable to the forward movement of our community, of our city. In a statement from Congressman Turner, he says the Wright Company factory holds a unique position in Dayton's historical legacy as the birthplace of aviation, and I am very proud to have secured $4 million in federal funds to address the damage that was sustained in last year's devastating fire. Morris tells me that with all of the work that goes into redeveloping this factory, they're looking at using about $15 million. And in that time frame, although it's hard to put a time frame on it, they're saying that the full plan could be done in 10 to 15 years. Back to you.